All right, hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the newly announced Google Genie 3. What you're seeing are not games or videos. They're worlds. Each one of these is an interactive environment generated by Genie 3, a new frontier for world models. With Genie 3, you can use natural language to generate a variety of worlds and explore them interactively, all with a single text prompt. Let's see what it's like to spend some time in a world. Genie 3 has real-time interactivity, meaning that the environment reacts to your movements and actions. You're not walking through a pre-built simulation. Everything you see here is being generated live as you explore it. And Genie 3 has world memory. That's why environments like this one stay consistent. World memory even carries over into your actions. For example, when I'm painting on this wall, my actions persist. I can look away and generate other parts of the world. But when I look back, the actions I took are still there. And Genie 3 enables promptable events, so you can add new events into your world on the fly. Something like another person, or transportation, or even something totally unexpected. You can use Genie to explore real-world physics and movement, and all kinds of unique environments. You can generate worlds with distinct geographies, historical settings, fictional environments, and even other characters. We're excited to see how Genie 3 can be used for next-generation gaming and entertainment. And that's just the beginning. Worlds can help with embodied research, training robotic agents before working in the real world, or simulating dangerous scenarios for disaster preparedness and emergency training. World models can open new pathways for learning, agriculture, manufacturing, and more. We're excited to see how Genie 3's world simulation can benefit research around the world. Cornhub is about to go like bankrupt with this, but anyways, Let's talk about this here. It's so funny because I was talking about this yesterday whenever I did my VR in Unreal Engine 5. I was like, yo, it's either going to be like Unreal Engine 5 realistic graphics or it's going to have AI video games. And this right here, right now, really is just kind of like trust me bro kind of technology. If you go to their webpage, they show you kind of like how it works. But basically it's like AI generated video, but it's interactive mini you can control it right now we just see up down left and right and it's google so i'm gonna trust them that this is probably gonna be a real thing but right now the interactivity the movements are just pretty basic but still this is a to me a big deal because this is this is where it starts like watching this video it feels like i'm watching just like a sci-fi movie but no, this is realistic. This is real life. So, yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. And this is Google. This is the worst it's going to get, kind of like what VO3 looks like right now, which is still pretty impressive. Uh, you still see a lot of weirdness going on on the actual footage itself. If you watch it on a small phone, which I did before I went upstairs and watched it on a big screen, you can see less imperfections but when you start blowing it up right now on a 24 27 inch monitor then you're going to start seeing a lot of blurry mess but man just give this time this is going to be insane there's going to be one industry that's going to be thriving with this technology which we already know what that is but i mean this is pretty interesting here like every day i'm starting to really think about uh, if we're just in a freaking simulation that is like genie 76 or something this is pretty incredible i mean the physics obviously that's that's really hard to do even right now with like traditional cg vfx whatever and gaming so it's just crazy this is we're gonna look back at this video 10 years later and i'll be like yeah that's what it looked like before and man i i honestly I don't know what to say. Like, uh, that, like people always say things are gonna change with AI. Like, it's 
if this is looking like this, I would say this is probably within three years of release. If, if so. It might be earlier, maybe a year from now, they would have this publicly available for Google Gemini or something like that. But yeah, man, I would absolutely want to know what you think about this.